I am so excited for today's video. Cool gifts to give this holiday season or whenever it is, small businesses only. I put in a ton of research to find really cool small businesses that you can buy things from instead of, you know, buying stuff from Amazon. Let's support small artists, small businesses. It's, it's very similar to last year's video, cool gifts for cool people who like cool things. I would say a majority of the businesses I featured in that video were small, but this year is small businesses only. If you want to watch that video, I've linked it down below. I still stand by all of the selects I made featuring cool businesses and artists. Uh, so yeah, go check out that one, but watch this one first because I have done so much research and put a lot of time and effort into finding some cool gifts to give or buy it for yourself. The first small business I'm going to talk about is my all time favorite small business out of this entire video. Um, and that is because it is my own online store called Was. I'm excited about this store because it's a little bit different than your general home goods store that you shop for online. And it's different because I am partnering with small artists to bring you home decor. And what's fun about these products is that they are one of a kind from a small artist you might have never have known of before. And we create something unique and different. So who is my first artist I'm collaborating with? Well, it is the one and only Slippy Peach Momo Gordon, who I have talked about so many times in all my videos we have come together and created our own little product. Momo is an amazing artist from Portland and you should definitely also go check out her work. She has a ton of cool prints that make for great gifts for the holidays or whatever you're giving a gift for. Momo and I created a wine glass where there is a little print on the front of a plate with a tomato, which is my favorite food, a little napkin and a fork and a knife. So if you're interested in purchasing these wine glasses, I do have a very limited inventory since this is my first product launch. I don't know, like, are people gonna buy it? I, I, I think, I think they turned out really good. So I put the link to the website down below and then you can also sign up to be notified if we do launch more of these wine glasses or for whatever the next artist collaboration is. So that is was. <laughs> first store I want to talk about is Fish's Eddie, which is just a curated vintage shop. I think giving someone just one plate is always fun. You don't need to always give a set. You can give, you know, a serving plate or whatever. And if it has a fun design on it, why not? So go check out Fish's Eddie. I always think a magazine subscription is a great gift, especially if you love interior design. I found this new magazine, or I don't know if it's new or I just discovered it, but it's called The New Era, and it's just a really awesome interior design magazine. I think giving a magazine subscription for a year or something is such a good gift because magazines are just fun to collect and have on your coffee table. This artist is named Ace, A-I-S, Ace artist. I love her stuff. I was just DMing her trying to get more info on how you could even purchase her art. And you have to basically follow her Instagram where she posts new things and then you can DM. I think she's a little bit pricier. So if you're looking to spend a little more, she would be good, but go check out her art anyways, cause it's cool. Gifting jewelry is always a little tough, but Aura C has cool jewelry and for a very nice price, I think. I personally think jewelry can get expensive, so this feels good to me. And she has unique pieces that I think are the perfect gift. They're not too crazy where it would be a little risky to gift it, but it's not, you know, boring and simple. It's definitely a thoughtful piece of jewelry to get your partner or whoever. Moth Chicago is also a really fun shop to look at because they feature small artists as well. And these small artists are actually from Scandinavia and Finland and Japan. So it's such a unique curation of cool stuff. 
and they have homeware, they have books, they have clothing. It's just a fun, unique way to get a bunch of small artists curated in one little shop, Moth Chicago. I also think art is a fun gift to give and receive. If you feel like you have decent taste in picking out a piece, why not get something framed or pick out a really simple piece of art for a friend or family member. And I really love this website called Partnership Editions. They are also finding really small artists and showcasing them. So you can find pieces as affordable as like $70 if you dig, and obviously the prices go up. But I always feel like finding art for your home or anything like that is difficult. And this is a really good site that helps you find small artists everywhere. We're all about the small artists. And that's the fun aspect of shopping small anyways, is having something really unique for your home or by someone that maybe doesn't have a giant platform to sell their art. So this is such a good site for finding that perfect little piece for above your toilet. Fisk Gallery, which is based in Portland, also features some of Momo Gordon's work, but they also have other really cool things like magazines and other prints. They have homeware and they are actually a graphic design studio, which is pretty cool. So they're coming out with like a lot of fun graphic designed homeware stuff. Ba, ba, ba Bazaar is also just another fun curated website uh, that kind of gives you that like English feel. It reminds me of the Glassette, which is also another cool store to check out. But if you like that British Batilda Goad style, both of these shops are a definite place to check out. And they have a lot of options like home goods. They have stuff for like little ones. They These are my favorite types of stores where they just have all of these like fun little things to choose from and that's like the perfect type of shop for getting a gift. I could go on for days and days and days of Etsy shops that you could buy gifts from, but there's a lot. And I personally like this one shop, shop Biddy, shop Biddy, because it just feels perfectly curated for gifts, if that makes sense. Everything that you scroll through just feels like a very perfect gift. It will have things like a candle snuffer, you know, which is such a good gift idea. A candle snuffer. Utsua no Yakata. Did I say that? Utsua no Yakata. I've mentioned them before, but they are an amazing handmade Japanese dishware, teacups, coffee mugs company based in Los Angeles. They also have an online presence, but I love all of the artists that they feature. A lot of pottery, and it's always really nicely priced. And I personally love Japanese dishware, so if you have anyone in your life that loves a Japanese dishware, this is the place to go. It's the perfect gift for someone who loves a nice pottery bowl. I asked my siblings a few years ago what gift they would get me. Like, what's the perfect gift that I would like to receive? And they said a bowl, and I 100% agree. I will always love a good little bowl as a gift, and I'm sure you would too. It's a good gift, a good little pottery bowl. You could use it for anything. The OK Store is also based in Los Angeles, but it is such a good selection of, again, little gift items, homeware items. It has a lot of fun barware or, you know, like bottle openers. It is a little pricier, but you can definitely find things that are more affordable. It also has a really good kid section for, you know, like little kid toys that are stylish, I guess. It's a really cool store. If you live in Los Angeles, go check out the OK store. Um, but they also have an online presence and you could shop there for presents. <laughs> Studio Casso is also one of those vintage stores that curates it so nicely. I think for gifts, it's just nice to have those shops, especially vintage, where it's already curated. You don't have to dig, you know? I only wanna dig for vintage stuff for myself, 
But when it comes to a gift, I'm like, someone else curate this for me and then I will buy it. I personally love these like yellow cups, but they have a lot of good stuff. So Studio Casso. Comercio Popular is a, another Chicago business. It is Mexican owned. I believe it's based in Pilsen. Is it based in Pilsen? I believe the storefront is in Little Village. This is just a very unique and cool home store. They also host events. I don't know if they have an online presence, but if you live in Chicago, go check them out. My friend, Dom Cordila, he is actually also a prop stylist here in Chicago. He is the creative director for this store. And I can just tell all the stuff is curated amazingly. And I specifically like this lamp. If you want to gift a lamp, which is also another great gift, a little lamp. <laughs> in my last cool gifts to give video, I featured a lot of cool bookstores with unique coffee table books and stuff to give because that is the best gift to receive. On top of getting a little bowl, <laughs> a good coffee table book is just the perfect gift. So, um, oh yeah, speaking of why I'm talking about this is this company called Unnameable Books. They buy and sell new and used books and there's always a unique option in there. And if you like gifting books, go to my other video because there's other companies just like this that have a good selection. I think giving a general beeswax candle is nice, especially if you want to keep it at a lower budget. Let's say you just wanna give a hostess gift. I think a beeswax candle is always a good option. And of course, Etsy has really cute ones. You can get ones in the shape of like a little teddy bear or a fun little animal, or just get a pillar, a beeswax candle in this color, this like mustardy yellow color is another perfect gift. All of these are perfect gifts. I also think these sumacs, these Japanese sumacs, sumac, 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 sumac wax candle. These are just weird, cute little candles. They're handmade. And if you know someone that likes a unique candle, give them this, you know? It's unique, it's fun, and it's affordable. I feel like all of these options I've listed are pretty affordable for a few here and there because you know if you're gonna buy art for someone it's just going to be pricier you have to pay the artists what they're worth you know it's just how it is and that is it for this year's gift guide i'm kidding we don't call them gift guides because i don't like that but this is my list on small businesses to shop from to give gifts for whatever it is or if you want to just buy something for yourself and just remember to go check out my little new store was, was the store. If you are interested in buying the cutest wine glass to ever exist. And again, there's not that many. I feel like I went a little too low on the inventory just cause I was nervous. Like who, who's gonna, who, who will be interested in a wine glass that's been in collaboration with an artist. I mean, it sounds cool to me, but I, I don't know, I was nervous. So go check it out. Oh, and go follow the Instagram was the store if you want to be updated on future launches because I'm already working on the next one and hopefully it comes out somewhat soon. Hope everybody enjoys the rest of their weekend. Don't buy too much today. I guess there's Cyber Monday too. I've never really participated in these days, but thought it'd be kind of fun to launch my product on a day that everyone's online shopping. All right, bye. <laughs>